Hey, hey peeps. So I've been eyeing these little Sansevieria Cylindrica cuttings for a while now. And mm, I don't think they're doing brilliantly in these little glazed pots. I mean, I noticed uh, on the top of this one uh, that, you know, a lot of the ends are kind of drying and withering. Uh, this one doesn't seem so bad, but yeah, I, I don't like the the way the tips are going on this one. So I think it's, it's not um, completely happy in here. So what I thought about doing was just um, unpotting them and putting them together in one large terracotta pot. Because you really can't go wrong with just good old plain terracotta. So I know it's uh, winter, but um, yeah, let's face it, I'm I'm a little unorthodox, so we're just going to do this now. And not only do I think they'll look nicer in the same pot together as well as it doing better in the unglazed pot, but um, yeah, also, as I said before, a little bit of space saving and um, maybe making room for something else. Just on the off chance I might want something different. You never know. But yeah. Anyway, um, good excuse to see how they're doing uh, in the ways of roots and stuff. I mean, ways of leaves. This one has done absolutely amazing. I mean, it's grown fairly slowly, but considering it only started with just a few leaves, um, and I'll uh, put some links to previous videos for these guys in below in case you want to see how far they've come. Um, but yeah, let's let's see how uh, how these guys have fared. Okay, so sorry if you can't see, but I'm just going to try and do this as gently as possible. Okay. Well, this guy has done quite well, considering he was just a couple of very shrivelly, almost dead looking leaves when I finally brought them home. Again, I'll put the link to that video below and you'll see it. But he has done very well. Okay, so maybe the glazed pots. Um, weren't such a bad idea, but we'll see how the other guy has done. So for now, we're just going to pop him over here. Okay, so this is the one I've had the longest, although they did come from the same mother plant. Um, I did give one away, but it, the other one uh, ended up coming back because, yeah, it wasn't doing so well. This one feels good. I think, yeah, so the, the root systems are actually quite shallow, but again, He's happy. That's the bigger one there. Okay. So, seeing as this soil isn't really that bad, I'm just going to dump it in there. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. And all you people out there that uh, don't like using soil. I understand um, that's if the, the plants are sick or diseased or the, the, the soil hasn't been changed in quite some time or you don't know where the soil came from. Understandable but these plants aren't sick. Um, the soil isn't that old. It might be wasteful. That's, my, uh, that's the way I look at it anyway. I don't think I'm going to fill this too far, so maybe, again, sorry, I know you can't see, but I'll, uh, I'll put a shot in in a second once I've kind of figured out how I want to place them together, how they look best. Okay, I'm just going to pick the camera up now so you can see. So, roughly place them like that, I think look really nice together. So I'm just going to fill in the dirt and uh, I'll give you a final shot of what they look like. Yep, yeah, 
I am really not regretting this decision at all. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now I know the pot is a little bit bigger than it should be, but um, it's kind of the best I've got at the moment. And I think as long as I'm not crazy with the watering, it being terracotta and with an extremely gritty mixture, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm really, uh, really, really, really happy with that. It looks so cool together. Okay, so on that note, I'm going to uh, wrap this video up. Um, thanks for watching, peeps. As always, it's much appreciated. Much love, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.